people who have actually grabbed this industry by the neck. When I mean people who are deep into this industry. beautiful people welcome back to the canada info Up channel my name is wolo i am a regulated canadian immigration consultant um formerly based in manitoba now based in new brunswick um I, if you're new to this channel i would like to say welcome to this channel and one more thing please subscribe give me the thumbs up to my old subscribers destroy the like button yes thank you your girl is back. I'm back to giving you immigration content just like you ask. Somebody was actually complaining that it's okay. We are tired of hearing other gist. Please give us immigration. So this is immigration and this is hot news from the hot oven of IRCC. It is a fresh news from the oven of IRCC. And I am happy. I am excited because it is a permanent pathway for caregivers. So caregivers who get job offers will now get permanent residence as soon as they arrive Canada. Before, the pathway requires that you come into Canada, work for one year, get the one year work experience before you apply for permanent residency. And there were lots of issues with that particular um, process. So this time around, the news that just came from IRCC is that if you apply for the caregiver pathway, you will come into Canada as a permanent resident. Woohoo! <laughs> so this is good news, right? It is good news and I'm excited because lots of people will benefit from this. Of course, the requirement is a job offer. It is not just a straightforward requirement. Um, it's not easy to get a job offer, especially if you're based in Africa. I have done a video where I said that people who have actually grabbed this industry by the neck, when I mean people who are deep into this industry, that you can't take it away from them, the Filipinos. Give it to them, number one, yes. Filipinos are dominating the caregiving industry, I would say, worldwide. I think so. I don't know, but I feel that they are dominating the caregiving industry in Canada. And it's difficult for Africans to actually get job offers um, to come and work as a caregiver, except Africans who have their experiences in united kingdom usa and australia if you've worked as a caregiver in these three places you can actually get a job as a caregiver that can you know uh, help you become a permanent resident so this is going to also benefit people who are in the united kingdom especially those who are looking for a certificate of sponsorship and have caregiving experience in the uk and you want to become a caregiver in canada the next thing you should do is start searching for a permanent job offer that you could use to apply for this particular pathway now they have announced it they've not announced what the process is going to look like like i said before you have to apply um for the permanent residency first in january 1 when they open the portal you apply and then come into canada to work for one year first before you now complete your application for permanent residency so with this new announcement we would expect them to roll out what the process is going to look like so we have to wait until they make the announcement on what the process what the process is going to look like if it's going to be on a rolling basis i would really appreciate that but if it's not going to be on a rolling basis if it's going to be they open the portal and everybody applies that means you have to be um on your <laughs> you have to pray for a good network good good network and you know you just have to pray that the application goes in as fast as possible. But like I said, it requires a job offer and I'm excited because it's gonna benefit families as well. So if you have a family member who is in Canada, maybe the person has three children, three underage children, and the person is earning well, the person is earning above maybe $100,000 or combined family income is above $100,000, right? they can actually hire you as a sibling to come in but you must at least have the work experience as a caregiver a child caregiver if you don't have the work experience or if you don't have the educational requirement of a child caregiver the application will be refused so you should have the experience don't just say oh i know to know how to take care of children i have been taking care of my child so i want to apply for child caregiver Hero, it will not work <laughs> okay so please this is um an awesome news i'm excited i'm very very excited about this because um the past few months it's been one negative news capping that 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 from iricc but this is a very positive news that i am happy for that will benefit a lot of people 
so yeah thank you so much for watching and see you in my next video bye bye